Hello and welcome to another DJI Neo drone video. Let's go. Now today's video is about that nice little drone behind me, the DJI Neo drone. I think it's a perfect bit of kit and it just surprises me for what it can do for the price and the weight and for what it's got inside it, the camera and likes. Um, but today's video is not going to be about flying the drone in this field or in YAM, but it does have um, information in regards to the YAM flight that I did and I'll tell you about that now. Now, I don't know if this is common knowledge, but I found this website and I thought I'd pass the information to you um, so you can try it out for yourself. Now, there's a website called airdata.com and on that website, um, it, you, you register, it's free of charge and you connect your DJI account with it. It pulls all the information of all the flights you've had and um, you can get more information on all of those particular flights you've done. Now, if you've had um, issues regarding your drone, uh, warnings have come on your screen and they're flashed on and you've kind of ignored them because you're kind of in the moment of filming then this website gives you all the information in regards to those errors now when you first go on the website on the right hand side is a load of news about drones and the likes in the center is the last four or five um, flights you've done and on the far left is information in regards to the wind speed the gust speed and if there's anybody else flying in your area with a drone, which I think is great. This website also has an app that you can stick on your phone and take out with you. If it's gonna to be too windy, you can time exactly when the best time to fly, especially with a drone such as this, because it blows in the wind at 18 miles an hour, I think it is. It does seem to struggle. Um, today's not too bad, I'm keeping it low on the follow, but there have been gusts blowing around, so I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. I can hear it having a bit of an issue. Are you having a bit of an issue? It's having a bit of an issue. So, but yeah, as I say, for the price for this drone, it's just amazing. But anyway, yeah, you can see all that information on the uh, left-hand side. But when, you, when you've imported all of the flights, you can click on each, each individual one and you can get more information on your, your battery health, um, your, when the battery was charged, obviously the, when you took off, um, how fully charged it is when you've landed it, um, all sort of the controls you use while you're in that particular flight but it's a really great bit of kit i think but anyway for the purpose of this video i'm going to use the yarn footage that i filmed in my previous video to show you and that gives you an excellent idea of sort of the route you've actually taken because obviously when you're looking on the screen you're focused on not crashing it as i am but you're looking at through sort of the camera lens but you don't actually see uh, sort of a 3d map of it now when you go into the actual um other page down the bottom below the map there is a thing called a kml file and now that's what you need to download on your computer then you register with google earth once you've registered with google earth you can import that kml file in there and it will give you a 2d model of your flight but down the bottom right hand side there is a 3d button click on that and it turns the map into 3d you can see exactly the heights you went the distance you went if you've had any issues regarding your drone and the flashed up you can go on to the air data website down the bottom right near where the map was where you click to get the kml file there's a thing that says tips but there's also i think it's called errors you click on the errors and that'll give you all the errors that popped up on your screen while you were flying your drone so you can see what went wrong how you can better your flight if it was just down to the wind or whether there's any issues regarding the drone now i hope you found this little video interesting i did i thought it was an excellent bit of kit uh, just to sort of um, have a look around. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was an excellent website and I just wanted to share it with other people so they could sort of get a bit more out of it, download the app so you know exactly when the best time to fly this drone is. Anyway, I want to go back home and have a nice cup of tea because it's absolutely freezing out here. Um, and I will see you in the next video. So if you've got any questions regarding the drone or anything regarding the flights or you just interested in buying a drone and you wanted to know uh, any information i will try and answer the best i can as a beginner and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to keep everything in my channel at a beginner level so that you can all understand it because i think some of the drone pilots they're out there they're professional they know the craft but sometimes they can talk uh, a certain terminology that goes way above my head uh, way above more than that drone itself so hope you've enjoyed it if you have give us a like comment uh, with your questions or any information or advice you can give me on this wonderful little DJI Neo drone and uh, subscribe because I've got videos coming out 
trying to do every Wednesday for the drone videos and I've got travel ones coming out every Saturday. So thank you for watching, take care and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. All right, come on you, we're going home. Come on, let's go home. Die.